Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Shanina. Hey girl, hey. Happy Sunday. Um, so in today's video, y'all, we're just going to do a little bit of, I guess they call it Sunday reset, getting ready for the week or whatnot. So we are about to head out to do laundry because we normally do it once a week, but we are behind on laundry and it needs to be done. So that's the first thing we're going to do today. And then... I need to go grocery shopping. I want to do um, a little bit of stocking up. Not a whole lot, but I, I need to um, replenish a lot of things in my freezer and in my refrigerator. So, I'm going to go to two places, Wayfield and Kroger today. Kroger has some weekly deals that I want to take advantage of. And then I want to get a couple of pack of meats from uh, Wayfield. Then, I need to come back, wash Olivia's hair clean up um the bathrooms and all that because i haven't really done it all week and um oh this needs to go in there too i haven't done much cleaning this week so we need to get that done and just a bunch of stuff y'all so we will see what we can get done today um so this might end up being like a two-day vlog um today and tomorrow so we'll just have to see but i just want to welcome y'all back all right, y'all, so we just put the clothes in the washer. So now we're walking over here to Dollar General. Olivia wants a certain type of chip. And apparently they're priced better over here at the Dollar General. And then it's right next door to a beauty supply store. So I want to go in there and get some hair color. This girl keeps taking pictures of me and videos of me in the weirdest positions and doing the weirdest stuff. It looks weird on camera when she plays it back to me. Girl, no one's safe around her yes, in that phone. they are, Mom. No, they're not. Mom, you acted like that's all I did. It is. No, it's not. Apparently they're having a buy one get one off or buy one get one free of the brown stickers. Oh, here's a brown dot. This yeah. is cute. Oh man, how much is this? Five dollars. Go look at that sign again. Is it buy one get one free or buy one get one half off? They even have a butter dish that doesn't I'm have sorry. a dot. I'm I like this. Dish. This is cute. This matches kind of like the um dish soap hand soap thing that i got from timu okay okay oh no water bottle so i can have something to drink out of huh, hold that for a second i need to check that sign again it's out is on it the buy one get one half it. off or buy one get one free because so far that's the only brown dot that i saw those are cute what, baby? No, we have water bottles at home. Do we have one that you can take with you on the go? I don't know. Oh, they redid this aisle. So they've got stationary stuff over here. Looks like they just started doing it, putting it together. Reflections. Oh, this is cute. Basic, but cute. Because it's just basic, but it's cute. Like, it's not all extra flashy or anything like that. It's just... Oh, this is a planner. Huh. And it's $5? Wait, is this a... This is a planner, right? Yeah. This planner belongs to... Ooh. I'm just gonna go ask the girl. No, that's okay. It's not that deep. Put it back. We're not getting it. I just thought about it. No, I mean, I do, but it's, it's not that serious. I don't feel like going through all that because I don't see anything else with a brown dot, so it's probably not going to matter. That's cute. What are these? Plug-in pendant lights. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Stop. <laughs> trying to give you a kiss, 
This is what I need. Something like this for the hall closet with the rags and stuff in there so that I can get rid of those, uh, mm. the Dollar Tree ones that I've got here. Girl, you done had about three different complaints since we've been in here. Good. You hide, your feet hurt. You're still looking in the same aisle. I like this stuff. It's cute. It's giving me like TJ Maxx Ross vibes. What? Oh, they even have okay, storage bins. All right, let's check out. Longer than a few minutes later. This our stuff too? Yep. Alright, y'all. So just checking in. We are on our way back home. We just left the wayfields. We got our clothes cleaned. Olivia's gonna fold those when we get home. We've already gone to Kroger, so we are pretty good for right now as far as groceries. I was just going to do for the week, but there was a lot of like sales and stuff that I wanted to catch. So I did just that. And um, so as far as food or whatever, but tomorrow I'm going to go out and get uh, probably some frozen vegetables, some potatoes, stuff like that. I didn't get that at the Kroger and I forgot to get it at the Wayfield. So those are really like the only things that I need is um, fresh potatoes and um, some more frozen vegetables, uh, stuff like that, uh, fresh veggies, lettuce, you know, those sort of things. So. I'll probably do that tomorrow, girl. It is hot. It's 125. We've been out here since about 10. And the sun is just roasting us. So we done got a little tired from doing all the running around. So we're going to head back home and get all this stuff out of the trunk. And I will see y'all in a little bit. And we're back. So let's get into this haul, y'all. So I am taking, um, there was some really good deals this week. So I took advantage and it's kind of like a stepping stone for me stocking back up. Um, because the girl haven't like coupon, hardcore coupon or stocked up in a minute. So I took advantage of the weekly deals that were happening at Kroger this week. And then there were some good clearance items or markdown items as well. So I did go to two stores. This is the Kroger. And I spent $115 there on all of this stuff so i'll just go through it here in just a moment and then at wayfields i spent a hundred and i think 21 dollars and some change something like that i'm gonna round it up 120 dollars let's just say that um and this is all that i picked up from there so at kroger um i needed to get some bell peppers for dinner tonight so i'm gonna use those i picked up four of those 
or did I get three? No, I got three of those. Got four cucumbers. That's going to be a part of dinner as well. Um, got some avocados. They were 99 cents each, so I just got four of those. Got three of the big K sodas. Y'all, we are on a budget, so can't splurge on name brand or leading brand. Let's put it like that, like Coke and all that. So we got an orange. These were 10 for 10. So I got an orange and I'm switching it up. I had the cola before, but I don't really care for the cola like that. It's not strong enough for me. Um, so I'm going to try out this ginger ale. And then Olivia wanted this strawberry because she likes strawberry Fanta. And the hun likes orange Fanta, so we got him orange. And over in the clearance section, they had these Pringles. And typically, I don't pick these up, but they were $0.42 cents each. So I went ahead and got six of those. Um, picked up some cream cheese, some uh, Parmesan Romano cheese. These were on sale for a dollar, so I got one each for everybody. One to throw in my purse, one for Olivia, and one for her dad to keep with him. This rice was $2.99, either $2.99 or $3.99 for the rice. So I got two bags of that, so stocking up on that. And pasta sauce. I've already got two cans of pasta sauce in the pantry, but I'm going to use those. So I got four of the Prego. These were on a weekly deal for $1.79. And so is the Alfredo. So I got four pot, four of the tomato sauce and four of the Alfredo. They're different ones though. Um, this one's sausage and garlic, chunky garden, roasted garlic parmesan, roasted garlic and herb. This one is artisan for cheese. I think I got two of those. Yeah, two of those roasted garlic parmesan and then a regular home style Alfredo. Um, these were in a bucket that said four for a dollar and I had a feeling that they weren't four for a dollar, but I said, you know what? We'll see once we get to the register. So they were not four for a dollar. They were a dollar a piece. So that's fine. Olivia really likes guacamole and tortilla chips. So, and I do too. So we went ahead and kept it. We didn't put it back. Um, this private selection pasta noodles the dry noodles i think they were 179 as a weekly deal this week as well so i got two linguine and then the cheese was 193 it was marked down so i got three packs of those and over there by them next to them rather there was some creamer so um this is zero sugar which is fine i'll just add sugar no big deal um hazelnut and both of these were 206 so good deal on that the butter this week on a weekly deal was 2.99 so i went ahead and stocked up on that got three of the unsalted butters needed ricotta cheese so i got that i can't remember how much that was i think it was like 2.49 or something like that and then for dinner we're gonna do jumbo shells i was gonna do lasagna but i was like you know what let me let me switch up the pasta a little bit so we're gonna do jumbo shells move this chair and then so i got two boxes of those these were 2.99 then i got some eggs now i was gonna get the organic truth or simply truth eggs because there's a they're on a weekly deal for 2.99 but then when i looked over to my right, I saw two sixty nine dollars for these, and I had a digital coupon for $0.65 cents off of one of them. So that's the direction we went into. So I got three of the 12-count large eggs, some bagels. So, of course, a bag. Well, these will all go in the freezer, and then Olivia can just pull them out as she's eating them so that they don't go bad. And then I've got two loaves of bread. Um, I had a coupon. 60 cents off when you buy two for the bread and then i think i had like a 40 cents off of a bagel bag of bagels or something like that um and then um the water the 24 count is 2.99 so that's a weekly deal so i got three of those so now over to the um Wayfields. The only thing that I didn't get this time because I was kind of just trying to get home and I completely forgot to get it at Kroger was like frozen vegetables, fresh vegetables, stuff like that, lettuce and all that. 
tomatoes and it's fine I can always go back I'll probably go tomorrow or something like that and then we should really be good for the month um, I may have to go to the store here and there to get maybe one or two things that we might not have as the weeks go on but I think we're I think we're set up pretty good for the most part for the next few weeks so or the next couple of weeks or you know whatever so anyway got a bag of leg quarters i couldn't find a pack of thighs they did have legs on sale for 89 cents a pound and y'all know they come in those these big uh like family packs right but this was 69 cents a pound and i wanted some thighs so i'm just gonna um bag those up in freezer bags and then when i'm cooking them i can either cut them in half or leave them whole it doesn't matter but yeah 69 cents a pound for that so that was 690 because that's a 10 pound bag um i got some boneless chicken breast tenders this was 794 and i got that because they were really low on chicken breast and the packs that they had left were the I, I'm thinking the most expensive ones because there was like three packs, but they weren't, you know, in the price range that I wanted to pay. So let's put it like that. So I got this uh, one thing of chicken tenderloins and then I got a pack of chicken wings. So these are whole wings. They are kind of small, but you get a lot in there. And I mean, you can use these in several different ways you can leave them whole bake them fry them make hot wings with them little party wings cut them up you know all kind of things so that's what we've been doing with that instead of buying like the frozen party wings and stuff even though they're on sale but i feel like you know i'll get more for my money if i just get a pack of these so this was 12 16 for that this was 11.99 this is ground turkey um got some cod fillets this time it's been a while since i bought cod so this was 6.99 the tilapia was 6.99 as well i'm sorry i'm lying let me take that back this was um 7.99 this was 6.99 and this was on sale for 6.99 as well so cool beans on that oh and this when i say this this is shrimp <laughs> and this is tilapia ground beef i got the cheapest pack but that looked like it had enough meat in it where i could split it up is 784 so this is the 7 73 27 you know it is what it is i wanted to get the 1820 but um it was around the same price but not as much meat right um and then i got a pack of pork steaks so that was 592 got some garlic bread to go with the stuffed shells got some more biscuits um some cheese i forgot to get some white cheese for olivia and then to top the shells i'm going to use this cheddar pepper jack cheese and a little bit of mozzarella and um i did get a orange juice because i forgot it at kroger um but seasonings y'all they are if you go to like wayfields piggly wiggly or something like that go to the hispanic owl or check the end caps and even check the spice owls for international brands right because they're cheaper <laughs> they are cheaper okay so this garlic was uh four dollars and 29 cents so both of these were four dollars and 29 cents i believe either 3.99 or 4.29 one of the two so garlic powder onion powder the minced garlic i didn't see a price for this but i needed some more so i just went ahead and got it um i'm pretty sure it wasn't as expensive though as just the regular kroger brand minced garlic so the pepper was a dollar 45 for this brand so that's fine um and i found some smoked paprika for a dollar 99 or it might have been $2.99, but I've been looking for smoked paprika for a while. Um, I think the flavor of this is a little bit better than just regular paprika. So when I saw it and they didn't have many on the shelf, I was like, oh man, let me go ahead and get that. So smoked paprika and then this all-purpose seasoning, which is similar to, this is by Gillies. And this was $3 cheaper than the um, the complete seasoning if you guys know what i'm talking about i forget the brand i think it's the same brand as this but it's three this is i guess a new uh 
a new company or something. I don't know, but their all purpose seasoning was four dollars and like twenty nine cents. So I was like, girl, we're gonna put this seven dollar one back and we're gonna get this one. So got that. Then um we are out of freezer bags and sandwich bags. So got some sandwich bags and some freezer bags. Y'all, my plant is thriving. I was a little bit skeptical about this pot at first, y'all, but it is working now. We got some newbies growing in here. It is a little bit dry. Um, so I did just put a bottle of water in there so that it continued to grow. But um, but yeah, it's working out pretty good, y'all. I am loving it. And when I be passing by Lowe's, when I cut through their parking lot to do like when I'm doing deliveries or whatever and I got to pick up over there, I always see plants and stuff sitting outside. So I'm going to venture over there one day and get another plant because that's what I've been wanting. And then there's this uh, plant stand that I want to put over here in this corner and put plants on that. But anyway, so I'm done putting up everything. Everything is put up. That trash needs to go out. It's funny how much trash you accumulate once you start cleaning up so um what i'm about to do is 325 i'm waiting on olivia to finish folding up the clothes that's part of her chore today so she's folding up the clothes so that i can wash her hair and then i'm gonna wash my hair um but yeah so this is what my pantry is looking like so it looks better y'all it was it was almost empty up in here okay but as far as the freezer goes, I didn't get, I still have like these, you know, little sausage biscuits and then little things here and there. So I really need to clean out my freezer. I forgot to do that before I went to the store. But let's check the progress of Libby Poo. Oh, I am looking at um, Smart Christian's channel. This is the Counterfeit Spirit. So it's a live that he's doing about the Holy Ghost. And things like that I need to clean up my living room so I'm gonna do that here in just a second but let's check the progress because time is a ticking all right so she's got one bag done so she's got to do that bag um, I don't know why she brought this is what I was looking for I was looking for this bag because we went to Dollar General to get her some um, Doritos, they're cheaper at Dollar General than they are at Kroger. They're two for six fifty versus being just six dollars by themselves at the Kroger. So she's been into these lately. So we got her two bags of those. So I was looking for that. I don't know why she put them in the room. I needed the receipt so I could do the fetch app rewards. 
um the deep freezer is looking good so that's back full y'all this was empty um what well, wasn't empty empty there was three packs of uh there was this sausage this hot dog and there was three freezer bags of meat in there and that was it so got that done um i'm gonna sweep the floors in here in a little while after i'm done getting dinner together but for right now i am going to straighten up this living room i've got stuff over here this was one goal that i did not meet this week and that was to take this stuff to the goodwill so i need to load that in the trunk so that i can drop it off at the goodwill probably tomorrow but yeah y'all let's go ahead and get this living room cleaned up y'all so i am starting dinner i'm going to do stuffed shells so i was going to do lasagna because i have some um lasagna shells up here or pasta but it's not a lot so i would have had to buy another box but i was like you know what let's switch the noodle and let's do um shells so i've got those going and right now i am cooking up my ground beef so hold on let me uh oh turn y'all around there we go so i just dropped in so this is just ground beef that pack that i just bought i split it in half so this is half of it and um i just threw in some onion peppers uh onion green bell peppers and minced garlic so the garlic minced garlic that i just bought and so now i'm gonna sprinkle a little of this smoked paprika in here Let's 
Then I'm going to use this Saison All Purpose Seasoning. So this is by the Gillies brand. I think I told y'all that when I was showing y'all the grocery haul. So it has salt, monosodium, glutamate, uh, monosodium glutamate, garlic spices including black pepper, oregano, basil, and turmeric for spice and color, onion, tricalcium phosphate to make it uh, free flowing. So that's what's in that. So we're just going to use these two seasonings for this. I'm not going to add any additional salt to this. However, I am going to add um, some of, uh, let's see, did I read that it had onion powder in here? Okay, so it didn't say onion powder, so I'm just going to add some onion powder to it. I've already drained my ground beef. And you know what? Just for kicks, I'm going. Oh, I'm so used to my seasonings being in the pantry. I moved them over here. So just for kicks, I am going. Put some red pepper flakes in here. Crushed red pepper flakes. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Just gonna add one can of tomato uh, pasta sauce. So I'm opening that up right now. that I have to get. I have to get a grater, like a cheese grater, and a new can opener. Because this one, I don't know why um, can openers don't last that long when I get them. It seemed like they work fine at first, but then after a while, they don't work anymore. just going to turn my heat down and let this simmer for a little bit and put it on low because it's really done just the sauce needs to marinate with the seasonings that are in here and you know let's see should I do another can hmm Let me open up another can.
going to pour half the can in here for right now. Probably just use the rest of it. I'm not going to let them cook all the way. I want them to be like al dente because they're going to cook in the oven. So, speaking of the oven, let me go ahead and turn it on so that it can preheat. Alright, so I'm just going to tidy up my countertop here. And let that simmer for a bit and then we'll come back and finish it up okay so we're assembling our shell so I've already done one off camera so basically what I did was I put some of the sauce in the bottom of the pan and I've got my mixture here this is just cream cheese ricotta um, Italian seasoning and garlic powder so that's all this is and then I have a little bit of shelves left, so that's why I had to break out this little small pan here. So, only thing that I am doing right now is just taking a little bit and stuffing it in. I'm trying to stretch this a little bit out because I've got a good number of noodles left. So, I'm just going to let it roll up like that. I don't know if y'all can see. Okay. It's easier if you have like a, a piper, like what you would use for like icing for a cake or something. But I don't have one of those, so I guess I could have used a um, sandwich bag, but I wasn't thinking about it at the time. I had already started doing it by the time it crossed my mind all right It is a little messy if you're not using the little piper thing. Alright, so that works. So I have space to go ahead and add these three here on the end to this pan to give everything enough space. Alright, let me wash my hands. Take the rest of this sauce and we're 
we're just going to kind of ladle it over a little bit. I need a different spoon. Let's get a different spoon. This look like this is gonna be amazing. parts of our pasta to dry out so we're going to make sure that we cover it a little bit here all right so then I'll move this over here and then for this one I'm just going to So this is dinner for today and tomorrow, you guys. So there's no way that we'll end up eating all this tonight. Just in case any of you were kind of wondering, like, you know, wow, that's a lot. It is, but it's for two nights, so. Dinner for two nights. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna bring this back over here. And I bought some cheddar pepper jack um, cheese. Never used it before on this, but we're gonna do it today because it's something different. And Olivia likes pepper jack cheese, so I think she might. She may enjoy this. I don't know. We'll have to see because y'all know she's funny about cheese. So, All right. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the top here. y'all can see pretty okay I got this mozzarella cheese that I mixed in with the cream cheese and ricotta and we're gonna put that on top to kind of you know add some more flavor to it take a little bit of garlic powder just a little bit and I'm just gonna like kind of sprinkle a little bit over the top we're gonna get some Italian seasoning I'm gonna put that on the top like that gonna take a little bit of the smoked paprika I did add it into the sauce but I want to put a little bit on top all right so now all I'm gonna do is just the oven is already heated so it's on 350 I'm gonna put it in the oven for about maybe 30 minutes or so it might not even need that long um, but we're just gonna eyeball it. And another thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is put just a little bit of olive oil on the top. Why, I don't know, but something just said, drizzle some olive oil. 
all right boom so I'm just gonna put these in the oven let that cook and I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers put some salt and pepper red vinegar and a little bit of olive oil and make like a little cucumber salad um, so to speak and that's what's gonna be on the side of this and then I bought some garlic bread that we can eat with this as well so 